Hi everybody, how are you? It's Mike Andrew, once again providing a short video with practical insights as it applies to business and leadership. Succession planning, that's what I'd like to talk about in this segment at a very high level. I want to keep the video short. What's the business case for succession planning? Why is it relevant? Why is it significant? Why is it important? So in my opinion, two things. One, what succession planning does, it's a process for building leadership capability to enable the company to sustain itself into the future as it continues to grow and stay competitive. So it's building that leadership pipeline, as they say, or building a strong bench of leaders to enable the companies to sustain itself into the future and achieve its growth goals and stay competitive. Number two, it helps mitigate some specific risks. And those specific risks are, in my opinion, one, vacancy risk. I mean, that's obvious, right? I mean, when we have people at the top or in what we call critical roles, we want to make sure that if, if they move on for whatever reason, we don't have a vacancy. We're able to fill that role pretty quickly without having to always rely on going to the outside. So mitigating vacancy risk. And the second risk is readiness, readiness risk. We want to make sure that we have people that are ready, ready now to take on that next level role if and when uh, the time arises. So we want to make sure that we have a, a pool of leaders that are ready now for the next level or not everybody can be ready now, but maybe ready in a year, two years, three years. Uh, so what can we do to um, increase that level of readiness from three years to six months? And that's where individualized targeted development comes in. That's a whole other topic. But I will say this about targeted development, you know, assignments, job rotation, on the job experience. But one critical one is coaching and who are the best coaches out there? The current managers. I'm of the belief that the best coaches are the current managers because they know the context, they know the challenges, and most importantly, they can observe. And when you observe, you can give specific feedback and coach. So coaching through observation and feedback by the current management or the current manager, critical component in um, development. Now there's a whole process we go through uh, in, in defining how to select uh, successors and what they have to be proficient in. That's a whole other discussion, but I want to keep this at a high level. I also mentioned something about critical roles. Of course we do succession at senior levels, executive levels, right? But there's also critical roles that may or may not be at the executive level. And those critical roles to me are those roles that have a direct impact on value creation for the company. Here's an example. I once worked for a company where we had many, many different types of restaurants. And we did succession planning. And of course, the CEO and some of the key executives, not all of them, but some of the key executives. And we defined, for example, one of the critical roles was kitchen managers. Doesn't that make sense? If you're in the restaurant business, you have to have high quality, highly capable kitchen managers uh, in order to sustain the quality and the excellence of that restaurant. So we look at succession for uh, kitchen managers and ensuring that we had a, a good pool of potential kitchen managers that are ready now. Uh, one other thing, I, the last thing I want to mention around succession is when we put together targeted individual development plans or IDPs to increase their level of readiness uh, based on certain requirements of the job, there's an important component that oftentimes is left out, and that's follow through. Follow through is often the missing link. Follow through is critical. Imagine, I've seen situations where we put together succession plans, put together targeted IDPs, individual development plans for executives, but then we did not do an effective job following through. And when you don't follow through on the uh, progress of the development, what happens? You find out six months later, nothing's been done yet. So you really need to stay on top of the progress of the development that you all agreed to and follow through plays a critical component. So that's a succession at a very, very high level, building leadership capability to sustain the business into the future and remain competitive and mitigating vacancy risk and readiness risk. Thank you for listening and we'll see you next time.